Hello, my name is Nils Förster. I'm a lighting designer and currently a master's student in urban design at Bauhaus Universität Weimar. And I'm also an everyday user of public space. People's perception of the urban environment is vastly shaped by its spatial composition through boundaries and through surfaces and through light. This both during the day as well as at night. Even further, the design of lighting for public space plays a profound role in how we interact with and within it, ranging from navigating and using urban space to perceiving its social structures. With my entry paper for the Young Lighter of the Year competition, I am investigating how urban lighting design affects pedestrian comfort in public places. Under the research question, how does luminance distribution in an urban scene affect pedestrian comfort after dark? I compare people's perception of public space scenes with results from both a combined lighting and spatial analysis. Thereby, the term pedestrian comfort describes a positive emotional reaction to the external surrounding within different situations and is key to our perception and our preferences of public space. By using samples from three different case studies, my study assesses the lighting of three similarly sized but differently used public spaces. These are Goetheplatz in Frankfurt, Herderplatz in Weimar, as well as King's Cross Square in London. By following an evidence-based research approach, I've conducted a lighting analysis that is using high dynamic range photometry together with a visibility analysis using Isovis view observers. Building up on this, I am comparing respondents' answers from an online survey on their perception of comfort within each of the public places together with the collected real-world data from the lighting and spatial analysis. Further, I've also evaluated lighting comfort within the scenes by conducting a glare analysis of each high dynamic range scene. It turns out that King's Cross Square, which is spatially the most complex square, shows the highest diversity in illumination. Respondents from the survey have clearly liked this, ranking the square higher for comfort than Herderplatz and Goetheplatz. At the same time, respondents acknowledged that it had the most complex yet exciting scenes within the survey. Finally, results from the study show that places using a detailed lighting strategy that is focused on creating spatial and socially legible space can improve overall pedestrian comfort and that even in complex urban scenes. Beyond the findings, the study has introduced a combined method that can support lighting designers in questioning and validating their design ideas and through this make better design decisions.